In this lesson, we're going to go over multiplying decimals. We're going to use these four steps to solve example one, and then after that, you can pause the video and try example two on your own using example one as a model. Coming up on the math review. So this example says 45.902 times 3.5. Step one says to write aligned numbers given with columns lined up. That's a little bit wordy. All that means is this. We're going to put one of these numbers on top of the other and then make sure we right align them when we do so. And what I recommend is when you have two numbers like they have here, you should make sure that you put the number with less digits on the bottom. So here, this first number is 45.902. That has five digits in it. One, two, three, four, five. And this number here, 3.5, has two digits in it. One, two. So we're gonna write this number down first. Next, we're gonna place this number 45.902 directly on top of 3.5. But we have to make sure that we right align it. In other words, we're not gonna go past this five here, and we're gonna start by writing the first digit on the right on top of this number here. So in the number 45.902, I'll take this two and right align it right above the five. Next, I'm gonna write the zero right above the three. Then I'll write nine over here right by itself. And since there's nothing else right here on the bottom, I'm just gonna make sure I write it nicely and neatly, leaving enough space for each of my numbers. So I'll put a nine here, then my decimal point, then five, then four. Then I'll put my multiplication symbol and underline everything. So now we can go to step two which is to multiply each digit in the bottom number by each digit on the top, starting from the right. Here's what that means. I'm gonna look at my bottom number here, which is 3.5. I'm gonna look at this first number in the right of it, which is a five. I'm gonna take this five and multiply it by each digit in the top number one at a time. So first I've got five times two, which is 10. Now that's a two digit number, so I can't write two digits in one column. So what I'll need to do is I'll write the zero here and carry the one. Next, I'll multiply five times zero, which is zero. But then I add what I carried, which is one, and zero plus one is one. Next, I've got five times nine, and five times nine is 45. Again, that's two digits. So for the number 45, I'm gonna put the five down here and carry the four. Notice how I'm making sure I put a number in each column. Next, I've got five times five, which is 25, plus the four we carried is 29. For the number 29, since it's two digits, I'll write the nine down here and carry the two. And then, I'll multiply five times four, which is 20. But then I've got to add that two I've carried, which gives me 22. So I'll put the two here. And since there's nowhere to carry two, I'll write the other two right in front of it. We're gonna need a little bit more space, so let me move everything up. Now that I finished using the five, now I've got to use a number three. And I'll do the same exact thing. I'm gonna take this number three and multiply each digit in the top by that three. But before I do that, there's a really important step that you have to remember. Remember when we started multiplying by five, I started writing my answers under five. The same rule applies for this three. So I have to start writing my numbers directly under three here, which means here I'm gonna put a placeholder. Now, you can put a zero here, but I prefer putting an X. The reason why is because if we have a number that has zeros in it, all those zeros can get very confusing. I prefer putting an X. Then 
I'm going to cross off every single thing I carried so I don't confuse anything I carry now with anything I carried before. Now we can start. 3 times 2 is 6. I'll put that 6 directly under the 1. 3 times 0 is 0. I'll put that here under the 5. 3 times 9 is 27. I'll bring down the 7 and I'll carry the 2. 3 times 5 is 15. Plus 2 is 17. 17 is two digits. That means the 7 and 17 I'll write down here and the 1 and 17 I'm going to carry. Next, we've got 3 times 4, which is 12. Plus the 1 is 13. So I'll bring down the 3, and I've got nowhere to carry the 1 to, so I'll just write that in front as well. Now we can move on to step 3, and that says to add values for multiplication in each column starting from the right. So I'm going to put a plus sign here, and then underline everything. I'll scroll up a little bit, and now I'll start adding column by column starting from the right. Zero plus nothing is zero. One plus six is seven. Five plus zero is five. Nine plus seven is 16. That's a two digit number. So I'll bring down the six and I'll carry the one. 7 plus 2 is 9, plus that 1 is 10. I'll bring down the 0, but I'll carry the 1. Next, I've got 3 plus 2, which is 5, plus this 1 is 6. And 1 plus nothing is 1. So now we can look at step 4, which says to place your decimal point with the total number of decimal place values in the question. So let's take a look at the question itself. Our first number in the question is 45.902. And how many numbers do you see to the right of the decimal point in that number? Well, I see one, two, three. And how about in the second number of the question, 3.5? How many numbers do you see to the right of the decimal point in this number? Well, I see one. That would be the number five. So all together, we've got one, two, three, four. And since we have four numbers to the right of the decimal point in our question, that's the same number of places we're going to have to the right in our answer. So let's start here and then move four places to the left. One, two, three, four. Our decimal points are going to go right there, right between the 6 and the 0. So this means our final answer is 160.6570, or 160 and 6,570 ten thousands. So that was a lot longer than I thought it would be. But don't worry, you can still try question 2 on your own. We just don't have that in this video. But if you want to watch the video for question two, just check the description below. Click that link and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.